Okay, Josh, what are we doing? We're taking an uphill 6010 160 wall test. So uphill 6010 brute, then a 7018 fill cap. Okay, and this is going to let him head over to the vessel shop. For the company you work for. For the company we work for, yep. So I'll be using that plate certification and this certification to weld in the shop. Weld in the shop. Yeah. Up in your money. There she is, yeah, up in the money. My am, as long as this passes. Oh, I have no doubt. I've been watching this thing and it is slick, boy. Slick. Yep. The weld school might get mad if you do this, so don't do it in welding school. But all the boilermakers shorten the rods for a ball test like this. Jake thinks I'm funny when I do it. So, and I weld left handed on my seat. And he bends on my bead rod every time he hands no, me one. No, I got out of that habit. That's good. Don't bend your welder bead rod so you can't push on it because it likes to rotate. It likes to rotate. It gets a little on me. All right, we're ready. Yes. We are on 30. And we're going to bead roll the shit out of it. this last pass he just did? Um, because I want to make sure I don't trap anything. And I saw one spot that was a little deep, so I just cleaned it out. I know, man, it's bad. <laughs> uh, right, 30? Yep. Just so everybody knows, Josh did make his test, and we're just waiting on figuring out where he might go or might not go. So, everybody be blessed, have a great night, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.